The crack of dawn brings endless responsibilities. A prospect Peter Mwangi welcomes. He can't see the beautiful surrounding, but his is a daily belief that every day is a new opportunity. He quickly leaves the house, a white cane, a prominent feature among visually impaired persons, grasped tightly in his hand, which he uses to detect objects on paths. They walk through life together with his brother. Peter Mwangi and his guide headed to KBC in Nairobi County. They go through the rough roads focusing on the thought of listeners waiting eagerly for their producer. What sets Mwangi apart from other blind people is his ability to see the world around him through a handheld sonic device that can enable every blind person to use echolocation and lead a fuller life. A technique that involves generating a sound typically by listening to the echo's sound that bounces off from his computer, allowing Mwangi to collect news and write about it for radio. This is done using his computer. His precise typing depicts a young man who is accustomed to the task. By the time he was six months old, Mwangi's late parents noticed his vision was deteriorating. I was born, I don't know, around... 1992, uh, whether I was like that when I was born, nobody seems to know. Apparently, they realized it when I was six months. So nobody really knows whether I was born that way or then something happened along the way. With his journalism certificate in hand, Peter struggled to get an internship. But when he reported at Shoro FM, his new colleagues wondered whether he was up to the task. I came to realize how far he can go and how much he can do. It has been easier with me and uh, we have been flowing well and he can always do whatever you tell him, uh, whichever is within his uh, line. Peter decided to work on his own without enlisting the help of an assistant, leaving him free to interact with the others. He knows every colleague by name and loves making fun. When I'm inside here, you, you have a few people who help you. Of course, when you're living with people, then there's always a good person around. Yeah. Then they will help you around, they'll help you around. Then you master the way as, as you go by. You actually master the way I can go to a few, not too many places, because then I don't go to too many places. I just go to the recording room back here and a few other places that I need. But yeah, that's about it. The production done. The pair sets off for home. When God blesses me and I can finally be able to, to actually stand on my feet and do what I can do best and enjoy what I'm doing, yeah. then I, I can tell you it will be worth the wait. And that is the issue for me. I tell people, mm -hmm. if you like doing something, do it anyway. Look, no one will encourage you because this world has not too many of those people that encourage people, mm -hmm. but do it anyway. Do it anyway. It, it, if it doesn't pay off, well, what can you do? But what, but what if it does? And you're passionate about it. And you're passionate about it. You cannot say it won't happen. I keep on saying I will get into the media. I'm inside now. If it doesn't work, hopefully it does. If it doesn't work, I tried. Mwangi's steps are measured. His faith on his guide absolute, walking through life together along the busy and torturous road that is life. Sight is one of the most important senses in a human's life, and losing it will be a nightmare for many. Despite all that, Mwangi has been able to achieve his dreams. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Lucy Mwangi. Hello.